Tim Lowe. I'm Tim Boyle. I'm Naive. And the R project is a robot to help people to be high risk buildings. And why are we doing this? Uh, let's just see clean the uh, skyscraper. Because like there are 235 skyscrapers in New York City. And uh, it's going to take um, at least a month to clean one skyscraper. Uh, skyscraper of Manhattan. <coughs> so it's a really have a lot of work to do. And uh, those works are not easy. And because of the special working environment and the long work hours, being in high building does cause some problems. And here's why. High rise window cleaning is dangerous, tedious, and unhealthy. Workers take a risk of falling. Well, I know it's much safer now, but still have a chance, right? And it's inefficient because people have needs. They have something to do, like have a or something. And the, the most important thing I'm worried about is the reflection of the glass and the rains cause health issues such as skin conditions and damage. So that's why we make this mission. And our goal is to build an efficient robot to replace unnecessary hard work and help you make better. Okay, so uh, this is this is our concept model, and there is also a Arco logo on the top of the shell. And the word, I don't know if you can see that. There is a WCR. That's our robot name, and simply as window cleaning robot. And since it's a window cleaning robot, so the basic function should be stick into the window and uh, do the cleaning job. In addition, it can walk over barriers, which are the frames of frames of windows and uh, it also has a uh, auto navigation system so you can find its own rules to follow it. Uh, first I want to show you the structure of our uh, robot and this video uh, is a simple demonstration. Explain each part in CAD software uh, later. And here is another video to assemble. Basically, just a This is sketch pad of what software do we use to do? And that's an A5. Uh, and this is our uh, drawing and assembly chart and something. It shows uh, all the parts needed to assemble uh, a robot. But actually this is not a complete, com uh, completed uh, version. And uh, there is another real demo we'll show you later. But uh, right now I'm going to uh, introduce each part in CAN software. And uh, this is our um, CAD model, and uh, as you can see, the the bottom there are five thin pieces. These these are uh, cleaning racks or sponges, and uh, each of them attached by a motor. And this is shaft, and um, this is just a shell. Uh, if we just hide the shell and the cleaning part for now. Hello, it comes to this. This is our moving mechanism. So the each arms are designed to move in two directions. One is along the I beam, another one is uh, along the uh, syringes. Uh, oh, by the way, this is syringes and uh, this is the suction cup attached to at the end of syringes. Uh, so I can show you uh, if I move this, you can see the the arm is moving along the I beam, and also the suction cup can move in this direction. Uh, the suction cup and uh, the position of syringes is controlled by another hydraulic pressure pipe. And we shall talk about bicycle later. And um, 
Yep, that's a uh, model. And back to the PowerPoint. So, uh, how does it, how does it move? Uh, based on the moving method, the first the first step user must make sure that the robot is stick to window uh, fully, and then. Uh, the left side of the suction cup will release and move to right a little bit and then stick to window again. And then this two suction cup release. This will release and then the whole body can move to the right along this two IB. And after this step, the two suction cup will stick to the window again and then uh, go back to the step number two and keep going. Since this is a symmetry, so it can go up, down, and left, and right. And it's only designed for the square or uh, rectangular uh, window. Okay, how to clean? So as I mentioned before, these five thin discs are the cleaning wraps or sponges. And um, if I draw a line, a horizontal line here, and a vertical line here, uh, there should be a little over, uh, overlap between these two uh, circles. That make sure that every part, uh, everywhere can be clean. So the cleaning range will be a, a square around this uh, around this uh, machine. So it can go from bottom to the top, and then all, all everywhere it has to be clean. Uh, next, I want to talk uh, how it actually is being done. While we were like, designing the uh, robot, the main problem is how it will stick on your wheel. Uh, this is our very first design. Uh, we, are, uh, we are using the uh, vacuum fan to generate negative, negative pressure for the suction up to let, let it stick on the window. So I have one here. This is the fan that's commonly used in the vacuum cleaner. As it spins, the Air will be sucked in from this from the center of the fan and be compelled out from the side. In uh, our design, uh, the fan is here and air is sucking from here and through the tube all the way from the suction up. Uh, that way, it will stick out. But uh, this plan turned out to be like too complex and uh, it's too noisy because. There are actually two motors, one for the fan, one for the cleaner, and uh, there is too much energy consumption. Uh, yeah, and then we came out with another plan. So this is a plan we are using that is more simpler. Uh, so basically we are using uh, the, uh, uh, the hydraulic uh, no. hydraulic <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. So now we're using the syring syringes to uh, generate negative pressure. As you can see, this syringes is linked to a pipe to the suction uh, top here. And it's powered by a servo. As the servo turns inside, uh, the handle will be pulled out and the air will be uh, stack out from the suction cup, it, it'll generate negative pressure here. Actually, it'll have to stick on the window. Using servo instead of motors, like uh, the servo is more quiet. And, uh, there's less energy consumption, so we have more longer working time. Uh, from this schematic, I can also explain how the lag had to be extended. It is actuated by a, a hydraulic pipe. It's actually just like the uh, cylinder, just uh, different. There's water uh, fill inside. So as this so brings this side, and the water will uh, the water will be like compelled this way, and this side of the leg will be extended, compelled by water. And uh, we're using water because. Uh, Water is less compressible than air, so it will react more faster. Uh, another uh, the fastest 
claim to use the thermostat, we can precisely control the position. Like how long it want to extend the how long want to extend it to the leg can all be controlled. Uh, so next, I would like to give you a, a brief demonstration of our demo. So I have a demo here. Before I have to say it's not fully work, uh, fully functional because we still have some problems, but it's partially working. So basically, each arm has three functions. This is the linear motion. It helps to uh, it helps to, to move forward, leftward, or rightward, or something. And uh, it's powered by a servo installed here. And uh, the leg can be extended this way, uh, powered by this servo. Uh, as this servo spins, the springs will be pushed this way. Here's the one here, and uh, this spring is uh, linked to the other one here, and the lag will be compelled out. Actually, this is the problem. Uh, the friction there is too much, uh, and our server is not strong enough to push it. Uh, there are also some alignment problems because the alignment itself is not so good. There still will be more friction, and. Uh, We've been trying uh, some several lubricants. It doesn't work really well. Actually, some of them actually give some negative effects that make it more frictional. Uh, we have ordered some uh, servos online, more powerful. Uh, we'll replace it later, and actually, uh, hopefully, it'll work. And uh, this servo, like this servo, will draw this fringes, and it will be absorbed the air from the such a path here. And uh, this is also not powerful enough to, to like move this handle. But uh, actually I can use a manu manually show you how it's big on the window. Because I can move this with, with my hands. Hello, what demo here? <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way since uh, where are you going to use hydraulic pressure pipe? And um, after installation, we can fully put the water in the syringes. So there's still some air inside, and it can be compressed. So we can only do it manually. So. And I just put a thermal pressure pipe here. And uh, it can stick to the window yeah. if uh, there are four suction cup will be much more stable. Yeah, only thing uh, is it's stuck uh, firmly here, okay, as you can see. So the only thing we need now is a stronger servo to, to drive it. Right, so this is what happens to happen. In the next couple of weeks, we are going to finish our frame design and uh, we may 3D printing every part and uh, assemble them. And then after that, we will develop a root finding algorithm, and finally, we will do more testing and refinement. Uh, thanks to Professor Monsi, Professor Goldschmidt, Shannon Sullivan, and the uh, Apple's Can you try the algorithm? You should not spend too much time. I think you can go away yeah, that this day or yeah, something that, 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 yeah, that, that, that should not you should not spend too much time on that. You can take a simple room Yeah. It's like, you, you, with all these things, you should post something in your in the blog post. And yeah. you know, at least put a link to some other thing. So yeah, yeah. We, we, we yeah, like yeah. yeah. And also post your sites. It's very good. Yeah, and by the way, don't have much code to them also. Yeah, that's OK. Yeah. It's all the hardware. Is, uh, yeah. That's why this project is open hardware. So we should have both hardware and software. Pleasure. Um, you mentioned that the server engine wasn't powerful enough to work in friction. Uh, is it just because of the material that you're using? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, next time we'll change another material. Because okay. this is wood here. It's like uh, yeah. a lot of friction. And uh, the alignment is not so good. It's just for so demo. There will be okay. more friction. Yeah. 
and with more powerful servo and more better material, that will be so. Um, I guess this is kind of long term, but have you thought of any like fail safes? If say like the robot fell off a building and then has the potential to you know hit someone, um, but like say you had like a base and you could have like a string that would. Yeah, we have a safety rope. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah there are, we lost the robot on the market. They have a safety rope attached on it, um, so maybe we'll do one of the. Okay. <laughs> So for how finding, uh, I think there's some, some fractal, like space filling curve or something like that, that I guess might, might be relevant to finding an optimal path. Yeah, space building is a very good idea. And the build is some research data. I guess um, if you're cleaning dirty windows in the suction cups part, constantly moving over dirty parts. Do you think you'll have a problem with Well, using? actually, as our project doing, we have those those cleaning things. It's four proper things. So it definitely can clean uh, um, after the cleaning. So we can just like, it's like, kind of like that. We're going to improve that. Yeah. Thank you. And we're also considering installing maybe like a window scratcher. Like those yeah. used to clean We know attach it behind the roots, it goes. Uh, they'll, they'll better. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Have you thought of uh, doing solar power with uh, <coughs> Solar power. Part of using solar power. Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> 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 right now, I think we're going to talk about building one out. Yeah, but that's too much. Thank you.